Don't want to hit my plow. Do a burnout. Oh yeah, that's a difference. Is that different? Can you explain what you're doing? Oh. Did I scare you? Nope. Can you explain what you're doing? I mean, I'm trying to hot through the wires to make a plug. So, what John's doing here is we pulled out the center core of this and plugged it in and now he's filling it with hot glue on both sides so that, that way the terminals can't short together because if the terminal shorts together to ground what happens something bad happens it goes to full throttle by default so we don't want that to happen do we nope. all right on what i'm doing uh right now daddy is is right now trying to cut off this right here of this and this now let's get to the boring part of this video just for a comparison i wanted to show you this cart that we built this mobility scooter rear end cart with the upgraded rear tires and everything i'll post a link for the video for this in the description it has all of the technical everything for this in order to do the 24 volt controller and everything else but i just wanted to do a once over on this really quick to show you that this and this are basically the same. So what we have here, and I wanted to also cover this, these AGM batteries definitely are not happy with these cheap little Chinese ESCs. Um, over the course of an entire night of charging with this little Razor charger, it only went up about 0.8 volts in the battery pack here. Now, I do have some lead-acid batteries that are on the charger that we'll see if we can throw on and see if we get different results. But, I just wanted to show you real quick that right here, there we go, we've got 22.8 volts going on right now. So, this thing is way lower than we'd like it to be. We'd really like to be testing it at about 25 to 26 volts on a topped-off lead series. But we're two volts short of what we really want, but that's okay. So on one of these ESCs, you can buy a plug like this, which allows you to just plug a charger right straight into it. What we've got right now is we've got this for a throttle, and we've got this right here for just our key ignition, which is this one. So if I click that on, at this point, we've got juice going through the ESC. And our wiring for the batteries is literally just coming to these two screws that are screwed right into the plastic. There is nothing technical about this setup at all. So, right here, this is the original Power Wheel drive harness going to the first of the Power Wheel's toggle switches which you can see right here. And this is right out of the Ford Raptor. And if you take that first plug and the red and the black wire coming out of that plug and you hook it right to the rear end here, then we've got the toggle there. So there's forward. And if we hit this toggle, apparently I wired it backwards. We've got reverse. So we'll put that back and forward so that John doesn't manage to go and back into something. There we go. Ready to test drive it? Yep. Okay. First test drive with 22.8 volts. 
John's all geared up. And go for it. So right now it is 26 degrees out. John, I don't think you're going to make it through that. All right, John, go out and around. Let's see how fast it'll actually go. It's not that you don't have enough torque. It's you don't have enough tread. Are you happy? <laughs> yep. Alright, so for round two of testing, yet again, still 27 degrees, but what we've done, if John moves his leg over here, we've stuffed a 26 volt set of lead acid sealed batteries in underneath there. They're the ones he used to run in the old Gator. So we're going to see whether that three or four volts actually makes a difference driving this thing. Uh, we know from past experience that temperatures below freezing will shorten the battery life to about 20 minutes. So we're going to give it a hell, right? Yep. Okay. You ready? Mm -hmm. Are you excited? Yes. Do the, do the back tires suck? Yes. Do we need to upgrade them? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it goes a lot faster with that 26 volts, doesn't it? We'll see if I can fit on here. I think I should be able to. Whoa! Okay, note to self, don't don't pull the handlebar right off the bat. <laughs> I think I can put my feet right here. Alright, you ready? Yep. Oh yeah. <laughs> Can you do a donut? Uh, I'll try on the ice here. Yeah. <laughs> Not quite. Alright, so 
in conclusion, um, we need to go and wire in a brake button, which these ESCs do have. We probably should up the ante into like 36 volts, maybe, depending on battery cost. And I'll post a pic of this over in the community tab so you guys can comment and tell us what you think. Have fun, guys.